Let's first learn about the various types of software licenses. In general, there are five main types of common software licensing models. Four out of the five main types are examples of open source licenses, which allows a user to reuse the code for a period of time, while the other type of software licensing model prevents a user from reusing a software registration code or a software license key. One of the four open source license models is the public domain license model. The public domain license model is the most permissive type of software license model. When a software is in the public domain, anyone can modify it and use the software without any restriction. But as a software reverse engineer, I advise you to always analyze the software in order to make sure that it is secured before adding it to your own code base. It is important to note that a software code that doesn't have an explicit license is not automatically in the public domain. This includes software code snappers you find on the internet. The permissive software license is one of the four open source license models. The permissive software license is also known as the Apache style or the BSD style. This particular type of open source license model contains minimal requirements about how a software can be modified or redistributed, and perhaps is the most popular software license model used with free and open source software. Aside the Apache license and the BSD license, another common variant of the permissive software license is the MIT license. The Laser General Public license is another type of software license which allows you to link an open source libraries in the software. If you simply compile or link a Laser General Public license library with your own code, you can release your software application under any license that you want even as a proprietary license. But if you modify the library or copy part of it into your own code, you would have to release your application under similar terms as the Laser General Public License. The fourth open source license model is the Copyleft License, which is also known as the Reciprocal License or the Restrictive License. The most well-known examples of a copyleft or a reciprocal license is the general public license and the Creative Commons share alike licenses. These licenses allows you to modify the license code and distribute new works based on it, as long as you distribute any new works or adaptations under the same software license. For example, a component license may be free to use and to be distributed for personal use only. But any derivative that you may create with a component license will also be limited to personal use only. The catch here is that the users of your software would also have the right to modify the code. Therefore, you would have to make your own source code available. But of course, exposing your source code may not be in your best interest. The last type of software license model, which also happens to be the only non-open source software license, is the proprietary software license. The proprietary software license is the most restrictive software license. The idea behind the proprietary software license is that all software rights are reserved, and as a result, such softwares may not be modified or redistributed by a third party. Now that we have learned about the various types of software license models, I advise you to always make sure that a software you seek to crack or bypass its licensing requirements is an open source software and not a software with a proprietary software license. Since the owner of a proprietary software license can sue you in the law court for modification or for the redistribution of his or her software without his approval, 